this is Spencer with the MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by Robert and Luciana uh, Duval, I kind of threw a little flair into there, um, who are in town for Wild Horses, which is premiering at South by Southwest. Um, I believe this is at least your second year in a row here. Yeah, we were here last year with uh, One uh, in Mexico, Nine Mexico yeah. which they kind of held for a while, yeah. that we had filmed in, in, in Brownsville, Texas, which um, was great. But this we had to film in Utah, for Texas, because it's cheaper to work in Utah. We that's didn't have much money. A, that's interesting. Um, I want to start sort of in a bigger picture uh, aspect, because you directed and wrote this film. Um, for you, I had a lot of help, though, with the yeah. writing. My wife, yeah, I mean, it, everybody. It's such a collaborative process. No, I mean, it, it's it, hard it to draw. It starts it. individually, and then it, it ends with a thrust, <laughs> just a thrust collectively. So what what is it for you in terms of, like, it seems like almost every decade you work on writing and directing something. Right, so. What is that like for you? And for you, Luciano, what is it like both as an actress to get to participate in this project and as uh, like a wife and family member to sort of see him and support him as he goes through these projects? Well put. Uh, well, uh, you know, I met Bob 19 years ago. He was doing The Apostle. And I thought, wow, what a fascinating subject, The Apostle and Bobby. And I wanted to see the possibility of knowing how to held a camera and film what was happening, because I thought it was brilliant. It was absolutely genius. Then I came across Billy Bob, um, Billy Joe Shavers. Mm -hmm. And the more time I spend with Bob, and the more I get to know his work, and as you said, you know, we're family, we are with each other every day, 24 hours a day. Yeah. And uh, But when Bobby acts, it's, um, it's, it's a really, um, a unique experience for me because I get to see um, things that otherwise I would have seen it, but I will I'd appreciate it from a different perspective because they become new to me, even though I know him so well. And for me, that is uh, quite surprising and a beautiful thing to watch. So then, when the opportunity came of doing a small part for the in the tango film, it was almost like giving myself the, an experience in life, you know, um, to see what it's like to be in Bobby's arena. Not only assistant, but what is it like to be on his arena. And it was just an incredible journey, especially for someone like him who allows experiments to happen. She stole the show and never let me forget it. <laughs> in the Tango movie, she was terrific. So I think terrific. that's um, Maybe selfish in a way, but it's not my journey to be in a second film with Bob. It's not so much a want to be an actress. It's not something I pursue myself. It's more um, the experience of being with someone who is extremely gifted at acting as, and then directing, but especially at acting. Um, and for me, that is a very unique, rare opportunity uh, that I have in my life. And given this opportunity, I said, well, why not? Let's, let's do it again. Yeah, because it was a part of a lady, Texas Ranger. When I took the script, we had to rewrite it. We all helped with the rewriting. And I only kept two of the components in there. One of, them, one of the two was to keep the part of the lady Texas Ranger because I wanted her to do that, you know, and she's a, she did a lot of research. She has her blue belt now in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Wow. And she uh, studied <laughs> law enforcement with Hank Whitman and uh, people from uh, Florida as well. You know, Hank Whit Whitman was the head of the Texas Rangers and he's also in our movie along with Joaquin Jackson and they're natural actors because of their undercover work they did as Rangers. So we mix the non-actors with the actors and, you know, it's, it, it's a nice, Way to, kind of way to work, especially when, uh, especially when you only have 22 days. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, in terms of like your career though, why, why do you, I mean, is it some sort of you have to build up the artistic pool or whatever before you decide to write and direct another movie? Or is no. there any sort of like thought process? Because it seems very methodical in terms of it's not like you're trying to push a new movie out every year or two movies. No, I just, when things happen to come along, you just... You, you can plan to do things, and then something will come around the corner and surprise you that's better than what you're planning. You know, so uh, it just happened to come along, and we spent a long time reworking the script, which was really not much of a script, and we kept a, a, of, a, of a son that's kicked out of the family but comes back, and the ranger lady. Those two things we kept. And uh, we had wonderful people in it, though, Josh Hartnett and James Franco and yeah. the great... Uh, 
the great actress from I, I slew I was like a sleuth I, I found her uh, uh, but uh, Adriana Barraza she has her own theater company in in Miami hmm. wow I call her the uh, what do I call her the uh, Eleonora Duza the Eleonora Duza of Mexico she was in Babel oh okay yeah, the yeah. lady in the desert that lost the children interesting so I I I, I, uh, I put her in the movie and she was she's I mean we were fortunate to have her. I don't know who else could have played that part that she played, uh, Miss Barraza. Obviously, um, Texas has played a very big role in yeah. terms of your career and the films you've worked on, um, and obviously Cowboys as well. What is, what is the reason behind that, and why do you find that to be sort of intriguing character to you, play? You, you mean using Texas as, as an entity? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although we did film this in Utah. Right, but you said, you know. <laughs> because yeah. it was cheaper. Right, right, right. And I, I don't know, I just, I don't know. If, uh, when I was a young, at the end of World War II, my, my, my uncle had a, an aunt had a ranch in northern Montana, and we went and spent two summers there, and that was kind of built a certain, uh, I suppose, an infrastructure in me to, to, to like Westerns. I didn't know I wanted to be an actor until my parents kind of pushed me into it. <laughs> military family, yeah. but uh, I think that 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 base of what I learned on my uncle's ranch, you know, uh, wet my appetite for future things. And I, I do like the western, and it's one of my fa my favorite work that I've done. And uh, I do have the rights to uh, Elmer Kelton's book, who was voted the greatest western writer of all time wow. for western. You know, Elmer Kelton. Some people don't know him, but he, even even right from now. Texas, they don't know him. But he, uh, he did, the day the, the Cowboys quit about Cowboys going on strike against the big ranchers years wow. ago, AMC, we have a deal with AMC. We're Very inching nice. forward to do it. So that's in the near or distant future, the, the reality becoming real. <laughs> so uh, that's something I'm planning, not to direct, but maybe to be in, but sure. to help produce. Uh, so the film is playing at South by Southwest. Yes. I mean, you were at South by Southwest last year. I know you've worked, I believe, on a documentary is yes. what I saw. What is, what is independent film meant to you guys? I mean, obviously, Robert, you, you're like, you were just in The Judge. You can be in any major Hollywood movie. Well, I don't know like, about but, that, but they come along. But, you know, I mean, uh, it's all action and cut. It's all living in, within an imaginary set of circumstances. I like small movies. When I did Get Low, which was one of my favorite ones, Downey and, uh, and the director, uh, you know, they saw me, and that was kind of like an audition piece for the for the for the judge. Yeah. So the small movies are connected with the bigger ones, and you know, I I, I just think that uh, I saw a small film made here two years ago. I forget the name of the Dynamite Dynamiter. Hmm. Lovely little yeah. film, very simple, like almost like people off the streets they use, which I love to mix the non-actors with the actors. It was, it's a lovely little movie, you know, so. I think it goes back, uh, for Bob, it goes back to the idea of telling a story and performing. Storytelling, you mm -hmm. know. That's what it is. And I think with Bob, what not many people know, he tries to generalize, he says, it's not, it's not a good movie. But so there's a good storytelling, but the acting is so bad that for Bob, it will completely disregard it. So for him, and with no, I think not many people know about you, that for you, what is really, really important are performance. It doesn't matter if the story makes sense or doesn't make sense, but if, if what you tell is truthful and is interesting. And the young actors today are better yes. than ever. Better than ever now. And I think when you, when you see independent films, you see actors and special directors that they don't get on the way of the acting. So it's not about the camera, it's not about the angle, because of the budget, because of the time limitations that they have. So the actors are a little bit more free than if you go into a big picture where it will be about the camera, the lighting, the mark. You know, this, you start to have a little bit of, you know, limitations as an actor. Well, uh, even in a big film, though, like uh, Godfather 1 and 2 and Apocalypse, Coppola, even then, he allowed the actor to see what the, he wanted to see what you could do. Some actors, I work with one director way back, he said to an actor, when I say action, tense up, God damn it. Now, you don't, you don't do that with athletes or actors or anybody, you know. But uh, the, the good directors that I've worked with, they want to see what you do. They want to see what, what you do. That's, a, that's an interesting point. You've worked with a lot of interesting yeah. 
successful directors. Yes. What, what has been the biggest lessons you've learned along the way that you've carried over to your work as a director that you're like, well, no, this worked for me, this didn't work? Good question. I, I think what it is, uh, when actors get together, they say, what is it like to work with that director? They want to know. And the main thing is, that did, did, he, did they leave you alone? Interesting. Leave you alone to see what you can do. I work with Billy Bob Thornton. He said, rehearsals for pussies in only two takes. <laughs> So is that something you consciously did with this movie, is really let everyone sort of develop their characters before you? Or did you feel a need to sort of really say, this is what I had in my mind, this is what I want? I try not to do that. And, and, and I think that uh, the good directors try to block out what preconceptions that they bring. If they do have a preconception, they, they, they hope, hopefully want to see what your preconception is, you know, not just like dictate, you know. I mean, I okay, uh, so the film is Wild Horses. It's premiering here at South Tuesday, by Southwest. Tuesday, yeah. Um, future release plans for website, anything June. people? In June, yeah, it'll be released, yeah. yeah. So okay. you can go to Bobby's Facebook Small page. film, but it, uh, we, we like doing it. it we only had 23 days, but 22 days, actually. Fantastic. So Bobby has a Facebook page, so Perfect. just log in and keep posted. should be fun. It's a beautiful film. Perfect. It's beautiful. Thank you guys so much. Thank I wish you. you the best of luck Thank with the you film. For us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us.